Alright, uh, guys, having done aligning your drawing sheet, I want us to look at this uh, topic. I'm, I'm actually answering uh, one of my fellow uh, students here who asked me this question. This question is uh, actually this is, let me show you the date. This is a. Uh, this is engineering drawing entry, uh, 5 August 2021, uh, uh, X-Paper. So all the morning papers are X-Papers, isn't it? So this student asked me of question 3. Uh, question 3, which is assembled drawing. So uh, this assembled drawing, the question was read as follows. Draw to scale 1 is to 1. I hope you understand the scale there. A half, what a half sectional front view uh, of an anti friction assembly with the uh, with the right hand in sectioning, with the right half hand in sectioning. So, which means the other side has to be as an outside view. So, what do we have to do here? Yeah. So the very first thing that you have to uh, take note of is the part list because we cannot draw uh, our assembled drawing without going through the part list. So we've got item one till item six. So the descriptions there uh, are, are the names of those items. What is important there is for you to check the quantity to say how many times item one must i draw one times how many times must i item two draw how many times my i i must i item three draw if you double check there they said draw two of item two i uh, sorry of item three so sometimes it, uh, 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 they will be like six times of item six you see so when now when you are drawing then you will have to come in you will no, Guti, I must draw item six, maybe six times. For instance, they, they were saying three, item three has to be drawn twice. So this is item one, item two, item three, and item four, as well as item five and six. Which correspond with the what? With the item list. Are we together? So they... Where are we? Th then now we come and we study this. Before you even draw, you must go through your item because this is assembled drawing. These are parts which are split to a uh, 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 part away from each other. What you uh, now you have to do, you have to join them together, isn't it? You see. So by joining them together, we correspond with uh, dimensions and the, the, uh, uh, their shape so you must double check the dimension the dimension they must correspond with the other item and as well as its shape so in other ways two or more things they must agree with you to say indeed item so and so must fit into item so and so are we together so the very first thing when you're drawing draw the bigger item draw the bigger item it doesn't matter whether the bigger item can be item five can be item one can be item two what is important is for you to draw the bigger item and when you are drawing the bigger item double check the question they say a half sectional front are we together half sectional what front so come here this is the what this is the first angle orthographic projection a symbol which means then if we go through our 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 items we can say this is item 1 this is the front view of item 1 this is the left view of item 1 this is the front view of item 2 this is the left view of item 2 are you following why because <coughs> we understand this let me just remind you here we understand this Come, come back here, N1. 
So this is what this is the first angle orthographic projection uh, 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 scattering of views. So this is the first quadrant. This is the second quadrant. This is the third. This is the fourth. I'm just reminding somebody. So in the first quadrant, we've got the left view. Eh? In the uh, second quadrant, what do we have? Front view. In the third, what do we have? Top view. Fourth, projectional line. So that is why when now we are coming here, the question said, throw what? Throw a what? A front. So that is why in our items, when we are now throwing, we'll be just considering the front, 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 front. We'll be just taking the front only. But if the question said, throw a full sectional right or a full sectional left, that's when we'll be taking the left are we together there. So now, as I've said before that, we'll be starting with the what? With the bigger items to draw so this is what you have to draw remember they said to draw it according to the scale one is to one which means you won't be dividing anything here you won't be multiplying anything as well you'll be just recording this dimension the way as they are let's start then i'll just i'll just decide to start with the faint line first let me erase this one Faint line first. So this this faint line is out of dimension. I will decide to start here. So which means this point of mine is this one. So from here till here, how long is that one? 180 millimeter. So from this point where I've just marked going this side, I'm measuring 180 millimeter. 180 millimeter. Remember, in a drawing class, we use millimeters. We do not use uh, centimeters. So from zero to 180, there is my 180 millimeter. So uh, without fear or favor, I can draw it dark. I can draw it dark. And what is the half of 180 millimeter? 180 millimeter divided by two. We are looking for the center now. 180 millimeter divided by two is what is 90. There is my ninth. Then I put a, what a, a a a mark there. So in the mark, you know most how do we draw a perpendicular line? So you put your T square must always flush your drawing table, isn't it? Yeah. So you put it against to your drawing a, a table, and you put one of your C square against your, your what now your t square so you draw a faint sorry a a dark center line you know how do you draw it a, a a center line long shot long shot so this is my center line double check come here so is this line let's go step by step so from here going up is 10 millimeter which means from here going up 10 millimeter your T square is always here, isn't it? It's my T square, ten millimeter. I firstly draw it faint because I I don't know how long would be that ten millimeter, isn't it? Now I come to say this is my ten millimeter on top of. You see? So after drawing that 10 millimeter, then I can draw a faint line. Then now I come this side. So now you can just draw dark line again. You see? Then come here. You are told that from here till there is 40 millimeter, which means again from here till there it will be what? 40 millimeter. It will automatically come out for itself. So now I come, there is my zero. 40 millimeter, I mark there, I draw dark. There is my 40 millimeter. You see? So which means now without fear or favor, I will know what here is also dark. We following so now I see a what a up 
vertical line from here with the uh, with the length of 60 millimeter from there till there is that 60 millimeter this one isn't it so now before i record that 60 millimeter i must firstly draw a what a faint line so now on top of the correct vertical faint line i record a dimension of 60 millimeter there is my 60 millimeter. I can draw it dark. This one. I can draw it dark. This one. So where your 60 end, you put a horizontal faint line. Remember, we are drawing this structure. Because it's the biggest of them all, even though it's, it's item what? Item two. Are we together? Then from there, what do you see? We see a dimension of 10 millimeter because this point is actually this one so from here till there is 10 millimeter which means from there till there i must edge i must make that what i must make record a uh, 10 millimeter there is my 10 millimeter then having done that what what is your next step you you go down as you can see it you are going down isn't it but here on your drawing you just draw faint remember how do you draw a faint line you hold your pencil at the end then you 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 pull you don't push you pull no matter what even if you are using an hp pencil lead you're gonna obtain a, what a faint line there I'm not sure whether you can see the faint line there or what. Because I'm, I'm actually drawing at night. At night. At night, that's when I get time. So from where your your 10 ends begins what? 80 millimeter. So from here till there, you must record 80 millimeter. 80 millimeter. So there is my 80 millimeter. So where your 80 millimeter ends, what do you do? You go down vertically. Faint. Then after if, uh, getting that is 10 millimeter from from here till here 10 millimeter. Record 10 millimeter. You can draw. You can even draw it dark. Remember, the biggest enemy in an examination is not the invigilator, but it's time. So, you must try by all means to get to save time. So, now, draw this one faint again. Dark. Once you get there. So, now, without fear or favor, you can come to say, yeah, supposed to be dark. Yeah, supposed to be dark. You stop, yeah. You see, this one, you cannot... Uh, draw it dark yet because you must still the other items they must be fitted there isn't it all right let's get the what the horizontal center line horizontal center line which is from here till the 32 which is from here till the we must measure 32 32 millimeter can put it here this is your zero. Where is your 30? This is 31, 32. There is my 32. You mark there. After you've marked, you put your horizontal center line using what? Your T square. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. So this is the center horizontal line. Are we together? After I've done with the with that, let's fit what now? Let's fit item uh, one into item two. Let's fit item one e into item two. Let me explain that how how are we going to get item one into item two? Double check from here till here that gap between item. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, uh, that gap in item two is 80 millimeter. <clears throat> what is the length of item two? The best side is 60 millimeter. 
So which means this item one can be fitted here in item two. And double check item three is fitting into item one. How? Remember, we, we said we are fitting these items using dimensions as well as their shape, isn't it? How? And what is the name of item 3? The name of item 3 is push. And they said you must draw it how many times? Twice. It has to be drawn twice. How? So these pushes, they are of a diameter 40. Are we together? So from there till there is diameter, is not the length, is diameter what? For, which means when we go to the other item, we must look diameter. We mustn't just look at dimension. I want to get both. It has to be fitted into a diameter. Let's go. Item 3 must be fitted in item 2. If it doesn't fit in item 2, fit it to item 1. Because that's the law of the what? Of uh, assembled drawing that the bigger item must be fitted into the smaller item. Are we together? Fit it how? Take item 3, fit it into item uh, 1. From here, from here till there. Is I tell, yeah, yeah, sorry, from here till there is what is dimension 40. So, which means indeed this 40 correspond with that 40, which means this push it will fit in item what in item one. Getting that with what with diameter a uh, uh, 40 and double check from here till here of item one is 60. Whereas this gap is what is 8. Can you say uh, 80 minus 60 is what is 20? So double check here. These pushes, they said they must be 2, isn't it? So 10 plus the other 10 is giving you the uh, 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 20, which now it will fit here. So which means this push, it will be here. And the other one, it will be. Yeah, so that this 60 would be now fitting. Are we together? How did we saw that? We saw it by analyzing dimension as well as the shape. So this push you is 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 good as we are ju uh, just taking it like this, and you fit it here in item one. The other one they said there must be two, isn't it? The other one now you take it here, you fit it here. So these pushes they must be fitted like this like this into item one then you take these three items which is a two of item three isn't it i'm trying to explain you to a two of item three fitted in item one then now it would be fitted in what in item two so how you can start with what with item one Draw item one here. So which means this is now there. Which means this uh, where this point where your center lines they are intersecting, uh, crossing each other is now there. Which means you're gonna say from here till there 30 millimeter, from there till there 30 millimeter. So that from there till there it will give you at the 60 millimeter. Without fear or favor, we come to say. 60 and 0. From there till the 30. From there till the 30. <laughs> Draw a faint line. Draw a faint line. We are drawing item. Sorry. Item 1. Into item 2. So which means from there till there. I'm now having it. Is from here till there. Come. The outside diameter is what? It's item of item 1 is diameter 60. So which means now I'm going to say from here going down half of 60 which is 30. From here going up half of 60 which is 30. So simplest put into the half. Which is state. So you mark at zero. You also mark at sixty. 
are we together? So now without fear or favor, you know what this one, it will be uh, dark here. So this line is now this one from here till there. Are we together? It's now this one from there till there. Going up from here till there is that 60. This one, faint for now. You draw it faint for now. There is a reason for that. What is the reason? Is this, remember that this item, it has got like a, a hook. So it, it will be starting from there going up. How do we get the height of a hook, of that hook? Is you are given the dimension of 60 from here going up is 60. So from the center, 60. There is the 60. So where your 60 ends, I can put my what? My, 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 my faint line there. So I'm being told, so now this center is actually like it's crossing this item one like this. So the center, it will divide everything into equal. So that 20 millimeter is divided as well. So you're going to say 10, 10. That's give you 20. So you just put your ruler into 10 millimeter. So there is your 20, there is your zero. You draw dark. So from here till there is this 20 millimeter. So 